Good morning. We're now on a train from Prague to where are we going? Berlin. Berlin. For our train ride, we're gonna hopefully get some editing done. And uh, yeah, it's a lot warmer in Berlin, so we're gonna say goodbye to the snow for now. Bye, snow. Hey, baby, catching the tram in Berlin. Yeah. How's the uh, trip here been? Oh, it's good. Not too hot. It's like for a bit an hour, so it's wasn't too bad. But yeah, now I'll have to just find our accommodation. So Maria and I are busy walking here along the Berlin Wall Memorial. Over there you can see an actual replica of the outer wall, but over here behind me is an actual real piece of the inner wall of the Berlin Wall. The history in that is so interesting and this whole little park here has got a whole lot of black black cards and history information about the fall of the wall and are you finding it interesting? Yeah, it's really interesting. Like, actually crazy to see the actual structures that they're talking about, like in all yeah. the flyers um, and stuff. And I learned about it in history, but it's makes it so much more real to see it like, come alive, to see the actual like place where it happened, to see the division between East and West Germany. Um, and they've got, you know, they've kind of renovated the area, they've put in some really trendy apartment blocks and that where some of the old former border houses used to be and that, but really cool, like you can actually see pieces of history. Like here's the piece of the wall, here's some big historical pictures and that on the side of the wall. And yeah, this thing over here is a representation of like the outer wall. Those bars there. Which are so interesting. Here you can see the paint pictures I was talking about. most in this vlog. Berlin and we're here in front of a Christmas market. A really cool looking one. There's even a Ferris wheel. Yeah, a huge ass Ferris wheel. But um, the other Christmas market was like a euro to go in so we're just gonna walk in here and yeah let's go see if there's any food. I'm starving. So hello vlog, this is the side of the Europe trip, they don't show you in those fancy YouTube videos. Maria and I just had dinner, I'm just so busy finishing. We actually had some very nice paninis with, um, what are these? Hi. Hi. Um, fish, fish, cakes. fish cakes, slash fish cakes. Um, we had four fish cakes between the two of us. I split my last one over these last two panini thingies, so I'm having fish cakes on paninis because Maria just couldn't take another sandwich for dinner or we had a little bit of pasta last night. Um, so that and a whole lot of mayo is all we had for dinner. We had a little bit of a little bit of carrots as well. Had this really nice um, kind of cider as well that we bought from the grocery store because a lot of the beer and alcohol is actually cheaper than water and cool drinks. So yeah, this is dinner and it's really nice actually. This is our little apartment room that we've got here in Berlin. Your oh, brain. It's nice, small, just everything you need, and there's a Maria over there in the corner. Oh, it's really nice that there is a stove and a basin and everything. Yes. We have like our own little kitchenette in our room, which is really cool. Yeah, as opposed to having to wait to use the stove in that in some of the other places. And the floor we're on seems to not have any other people around here, so we might have the bathroom to ourselves. Because a shared bathroom is what you get in Europe if you're traveling cheaply, but it can be annoying to have to wait to spit mm -hmm. when you're brushing your teeth or wait to use the bathroom, eh? Hey? That's right. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna turn for the night now. We'll check you tomorrow morning. Bye. So look where Maria and I are this morning. We're at the Brandenburg Gate. And we're about to do a walking tour of the city of Berlin. Learn some of the amazing history. Yeah, it's actually, um, the gate is actually blocked off to cars. Uh, most of the year, so it's just pedestrian access. I've seen some people walking through, seen some people biking through. 
sculpture. Really pretty and so much history in a single monument. Wow. It's also a lot warmer, so really? I'm enjoying the slightly warmer weather. Nice, man. It's like eight, six, seven. Is eight. that why you have lipstick all over your nose? Why don't you tell me anything? Oh. Yeah, Maria's feeling a bit sick today, so hopefully the cold weather doesn't return. We'll get some nice warm soup or something like that mm -hmm. okay. for lunch. We're inside of the memorial to the murdered Jews of Europe. It's really like humbling slash terrifying monument. Uh, these like tall things we're walking past are supposed to be like the graves of the murdered Jews of Europe who were you know, obviously buried in unmarked graves and that. But they're so tall, I think they get taller as the, the closer you walk to the center of the monument. I think just to show like how um, how many Jews were murdered, yeah? Interesting. Some really cool history on the side of it as well. Now look, and then as we walk further out, it starts to get, um, not shallower, but the things start to get a bit shorter. vlog so what's good it's late maria and i are heading home now we just got the subway over here to nordbahnhof and now we're catching the tram home the berlin um transport infrastructure is incredible like you just use the app you just go ahead and buy your tickets um we haven't actually been asked to for any of our tickets on any of the trams or any of the subway train subway rides that we've caught so far and so you could definitely not pay and uh, go about your business as if nothing happens because there's no validation or anything you just hop on the tram or hop on the subway um, but it's really cool then this I just bought on the app a um, so I really hold this and point it on my screen so I just went and um, bought buy tickets and then you can go and select your short trip your four short trip your 24 hour pass or whatever and then you just go short trip and um, select your, your starting station um, and once you've selected your departure station come on you just go and you buy there you buy it on app I've got my credit card um, attached to it and so it works really well but yeah amazing and to be able to just hop on the tram whenever you want is so cool and yeah it makes Joburg look like an inhospitable wasteland that you can't get around yeah trams buses subway stations Berlin your public transport is impeccable we did however see people getting fined for not wearing their masks so masks are still mandatory in Germany like but, on public transport which yeah, is weird but only here in Munich yeah. no one gave us any trouble because also there were a whole lot of other people mm -hmm. on the um, tram that we were on earlier who weren't wearing masks and they kind of just pulled off the shirt when the guy went past and then pulled it down and they didn't get fines so that was strange but yeah, yeah the public transport here is impeccable i'm gonna make a whole video about public transport um in south africa and versus uh, like, <laughs> versus <laughs> public transport in the netherlands when we go to amsterdam <laughs> so i'm looking forward to that but yeah let's catch this tram and then head on home So second to public transport, my favorite thing about coming to Europe is the shopping. This is a supermarket, this is a really small supermarket with just two aisles, but everything you need, man. Soup, pickled onions, carrots, milk and eggs. Um, I love shopping, just converting from euros into rands is a bit scary and a bit terrifying. But let's see, we need carrots, because we've got some pasta, which we're gonna make with some chicken tonight. And we also need something for dinner tomorrow night, as well as a chocolate, so let's go find that. So Maria, what do you think of the kiss? It's very large. I didn't expect it to be that big, like to come over I know, when you get up close to it, it's actually massive and it really shows how like important a historical moment it was that like it was painted on this bigger canvas. Hey, eh? we've been doing all the real cool history stuff in Berlin. Also, look how tall that wall is. Yeah, this is the Berlin Wall here. Maria, go try and escape over into East Berlin. <laughs> 
I got it. That's like three times my height. <laughs> yeah, geez, then you need a ladder or some equipment. We are going to the how do you pronounce it? I think it's Salzenhausen. Yeah, Salzenhausen concentration camp this morning. So it should be a sobering morning, but it should be very interesting. We were at the what's it called last night? Topography. Uh, yeah, topography yeah, of terror. Topography of terror museum, and one of the best museums I've ever been to. And I've been to the Louvre and the British Museum, and that just such a good history of like the Nazi regime and all the pictures and that of people saluting Hitler and women going crazy over Hitler and all the concentration camp uh, horribleness. Really interesting museum and yeah, good for people to still be learning about it in the modern day. Yeah. Oh, what do you think of Berlin so far? It's really, it's a really big city. Like we've had to take the metro quite a few times. It's like impossible to walk like we did in other cities. So it's actually been quite cool to take, but taking some of the public transport and stuff. Yeah, we've got a Berlin zone ABC metro pass for the next 24 hours so that we can get out to the concentration camp and around Berlin this afternoon and off to the Hauptbahnhof Berlin Central Station tomorrow morning to go over to Deventer, Netherlands. So yeah, we're going to walk along the wall a bit and then head off to the concentration camp. here at the Charlottenburg Christmas market. How was the concentration camp earlier? It was very depressing, uh, but it was good to learn about. And yeah, a lot of info about what happened there and everything. Yeah, I'm of the opinion yeah. everyone should go because it was yeah. quiet and scary, but it shows you exactly why neo-Nazism and socialism should be like stopped dead in its tracks because of the horrific consequences that it has. But um, yeah, anyway, now we're here lifting our spirits. We're here at the Charlottenburg looking at the beautiful Christmas market and the light display. I just had a fucking expensive bratwurst, but it was it was tasty, not the best one I've had. And we're gonna head off to, since we have a 24 hour metro pass at the moment, we're gonna head off to the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church across town, go to the Christmas market there, and then head off um, back to the supermarket and home, because we're leaving for Deventer tomorrow. So yeah, Berlin, you've been awesome. Is a Wilhelm Memorial Church Christmas market. Pretty. A lot of lights everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Lots of like s s big snowmen. Look at that. You can't see it from here. You can kind of see it. We just had some kind of potato thing with like sour cream and cheese in the middle. And it was nice, but as Maria says, it's all right. Yeah. Needs more meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're very stingy with their meat helpings out here. Yeah, being from South Africa, we're so used to eating meat all the time. Uh, I can't we... wait to go home and eat meat. Mom, if you're watching this, please, when I come home, can we have steak for dinner? <laughs> 